Okay, what we're doing is setting up an external drive for use with Final Cut X. First thing we do is make sure our drive is formatted correctly. So we click Spotlight and just start typing in the word disk. And there we go, disk utility. Uh, today we're going to set up a 16 gig USB thumb drive, but it can be anything. The most important thing is make sure it's formatted to use uh, Apple's format hard drive. And that is Mac OS Extended Journal. So we'll do FCP X external hard drive. And uh, you can just click erase there. Obviously make sure there's nothing on it. And then once that's finished, uh, it can take a second depending on the size of your hard drive. Your drive will be ready to use as an external drive with Final Cut X. Close Disk Utility, launch our Final Cut Pro. We've got a trial version, so it says that. Well, come on, iMac. And then here's our external drive, the FCP external HD, and this is our project library, which are the files when you start a new project. And then up here is the event library. That's where your video footage is actually stored. So you want to start off by file, new event, and then you notice because I had clicked on the drive, the external drive, the event is actually listed under that. Well, we're just going to call this test external events. And then once we got the event, you can obviously import from files or, or from your camera. Uh, in this case, we've got an SD card already in the Mac. So we'll click there. This is the SD card. This is just a little test mode we would put. The most important thing is to uh, look to where you're putting the event and obviously we're adding it to test or external events I spelled wrong or you can create a new event directly and then select where you want it uh, if your external drive is not showing up here it's probably because it's not formatted correctly uh, so we're going to add the external event and then you want to make sure that it copies the files to the Final Cuts events folder so that way your files, your footage is actually on the external drive. So we hit import. And again, this might take a second depending on how big your project is. And now that you've got some footage, you can click new project. And then it'll ask you what the default event is. Uh, we'll use that same event. And we'll call project one on external HD. And then, so now we have a project here. Let's select a little footage, drag it into our timeline. And then you can just close Final Cut. You don't have to do saves anymore. It's all automatically updated there. telling you that there's some stuff in the background running because it hasn't imported the videos yet so like I said the first time you do this it might take a second uh, you want to make sure all your footage gets moved on your external drive so we will cancel and wait for this to uh, finish and then now once you're done with that you can go to your external drive and you'll have two folders one for the events where your footage will be this will be your original media if you ever need to get to it again and then the project and this is the actual save file here or current version and then as you work on it it'll have more versions but it'll automatically keep track so if you go to another computer that has Final Cut X and you launch it again You'll, this drive, this external drive should pop up here in your event library and then also as part of your project library. You should see it on your uh, drive here. And uh, that's all too.
So to come back, an external drive to work with Final Cut X. Thanks.